Hello and welcome to my amazing adoption box. Some of you have already dealt with this, but I'd like to show you a little bit more in depth about my idea behind the box. Okay, first things first, getting it open. If you come in here, you'll see that there are uh, black bars across the side, and you have to pop these open. There's one on this side as well. That unlocks it. There's a helpful reminder here. So now that it's unlocked, you just pull up on this handle. There's an arrow here as well. And you just push it on back. Now the whole thing's open. There's a top that opens like a regular toolbox as well. So the idea is that you can roll this box up and set up an adoption info table, or, excuse me, an info table or an adoption event, uh, provided that they already have a chair and table there. So, first thing I'm going to do is set up our tablecloth. Beautiful, not so beautiful actually, we got to get it clean, but once we do. All right. And again, this is going to provide every tool you need, but depending on your space, you may not need every single thing, and every single uh, situation is different, and plan accordingly. Right. There's some seed money already in the adoption box, but uh, so when you're taking out the adoptions, don't take that out. There's some helpful tips for asking people for donations, and uh, also what to do with the money when you're finished. Keep this inside. Pamphlet holders I pulled out there. We have card holders and cards together at last. I'm not going to set up everything quite perfectly. It'll be like a cooking show. I'll we'll show you what I mean. The pens, our pen holder. Clipboards, a couple of promotional materials here, for instance our March Madness, uh, 16 adoptions, $16 adoptions. Okay, there's my flyers. So, we have some other promotions right now with the Helping Paws, Furry Friends, and Guardian Angels. These are for people who are going to donate money to help build our new shelter, and then they get to fill out one of these delightful little cards with their name or the name of a loved one. Um, we'll put, go ahead and put the money right into the donation box, but we'll hang on to these, and these will go on the wall of our new shelter will actually be able to be a part of it. And they're all in their labeled envelopes. When they're completed, there's a completed envelope to make sure they stay safe. And that'll be in here. A lot of times people ask about volunteering, so I've included a volunteer information packet. It's upside down. Woo! Thank you. A lint roller for your personal use. So, we have all sorts of fun stuff, like staples, staple removers, whiteout tape, scotch tape, nail clippers, uh, hand sanitizer, a scanner in case you're doing dog or cat adoptions or sometimes people will bring you dogs and cats and ask if you can scan them so you have that. Pliers for any kind of repairs, binder clips. Um, a lot of times we don't just do an info table, we'll be doing dog and cat adoptions as well. For dog adoptions and cat adoptions, whenever we're hanging up sheets, these are really useful. So, you'll have a stack of these. <laughs> duct tape, because everybody needs duct tape. You will have some binder clips, or excuse me, rings. You have sticky notes. Uh, paper towels, because we need paper towels all the time. You'll have some trash bags, big ones and little ones. Uh, you'll also have a money box. If you get any petty cash, we'll send it in here. And make sure to check that out when, you, when it arrives. Um, and at the end of the day, you uh, need your accounting. Of course, all our money doesn't just get thrown in there. It goes in one of these lovely uh, security bags that seals. So when you're doing the accounting at the end of the day, you can uh, count it up, say where you were, where it came, where it came from, what the day was, how much money was in there, and put it in the security box, and then send it on back. 
We also have some sanitizing wipes, clipboards, can't forget clipboards, and a first aid kit for emergencies. There's also going to be slip leads because again, you never know when you're going to need a slip lead. Okay, so this is this is my imaginary adoption event, and I've decided that I am done with everything I need. Now there's spare staplers in there. Uh, there's paper clips and all my backup stuff's going to be right in here. Again, slide it forward. You don't have to lock it back up, but I'm going to. I'm gonna, because I'm in a little open area, I'm going to slide it right under the table. It's done. Right. Okay, now who wants to hear about Halo? Everybody.